Hi buddy, regarding the new bill, will Alibaba be delisted from the US stock exchange? In this video, you will discover what to do if you are Alibaba shareholder right now and what can you do if Alibaba is being delisted from the US stock exchange. So what is the new bill about? The new bill mentioned that US would delist and remove all Chinese companies after 3 years if the Chinese companies do not provide US regulators to assess their financial audit information. So what will happen if Alibaba really get delisted? In the point of view of Alibaba company, the delisting does not affect them in the short term because they have already raised majority of its funds during IPO in the US stock exchange. However, in the long term, delisting of Alibaba stocks in the US stock exchange will increase the cost of capital for Alibaba, which is not a good thing. Let me draw out to illustrate to you what I meant. In the long term, the listing of Alibaba US shares will have negative impact for Alibaba itself as it cannot raise price at a P ratio of 37. It need to go back to Hong Kong at raise price at 33. Of course, the valuation of P ratio 37 and 33 changes every day. But typically, stocks that are listed in US stock exchange have higher valuation compared to any other stock exchange. So if I'm the management of Alibaba and given a choice, I would like to raise funds in US stock exchange rather than Hong Kong stock exchange because the P ratio is 37. So let me share with you what I mean. Let me use this to illustrate. Let's say you want to sell this product to Hong Kong, your profit is 33 US dollar. However, if you sell the same product to US, the same product profit is 37 dollars. So where do you prefer to sell a product, US or Hong Kong? Definitely US, right? So currently, this is the situation for Alibaba right now. That is why I foresee that Alibaba do not want to be deleased from the US stock exchange. So right now it has choices to raise funds from both Hong Kong and US. Regarding the point of view of US government, indeed, this new bill provides much more transparency for US investors and thus reduce the potential fraud from foreign companies. At the same time, this also reduces its ability to attract foreign companies to lease an IPO in the US stock exchange, which is not a good thing. Many US investment banks like Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs may lose huge IPO businesses because of this. The fact is that US exposure to Chinese stocks has been growing throughout the years. Currently, more than 150 countries' companies with a combined value of 2.2 trillion are traded in the American exchanges. With the new bill in place, US may lose its credibility as an open economy. Regarding the point of view of Alibaba shareholder, if Alibaba really get delisted, you as shareholder will still have the ownership of Alibaba business no matter what happens. Do note that it will either be deleased totally or it will be deleased and goes to the OTC market, which is over the counter market. No matter which scenario it is, the stock will be illiquid and the stock price most probably will drop significantly. This will cause the US investor to suffer financially, which is not what the US government want to see. In conclusion, the new bill indeed provides much more transparency for investors. However, it also causes much more opportunity cost for US economy and also foreign companies that is planning to IPO in the US stock exchange. Personally, I foresee that Alibaba will comply with the US regulators and it will not be delisted. The good news is that even if Alibaba get delisted, which I don't think so, you still got a choice to convert all your Baba US shares into Alibaba Hong Kong shares anytime. If you want to find out more about conversion of your Baba shares right now, I have left the link above and in the description below for you to find out more after this video. So Baba shareholders, just sit back and relax. Do remember that you are investing into Alibaba business, not speculating into Alibaba stock price. Or are you speculating? I hope you benefit from this sharing. Do subscribe to this channel so that you will not miss out on the future content. I will see you in the next video.